Do you know that your destiny is in your hand? It's not in the hand of any man. Your destiny is in your hand. It's not in the hand of any spirit. It's not in the hand of your pastor. It's not in the hand of your parents. It's not in the hand of Satan, but in your hands. The Bible told us about David, that David will return back from war. And the enemy had made away with his wives. David was crying and rolling on the ground, shouting and crying, looking for someone to comfort him, looking for someone to console him. Rather, all the people around him carried stone, wanted to stone him. The Bible said that David comforted himself in the Lord. He comforted himself in the Lord. When he comforted himself in the Lord, he discovered that all the people around, that he was trying to draw their attention to come and tell him, sorry, sorry, all of them wanted to kill him. David now took a step that made him to recover his destiny. He recovered his wives. Your destiny is in your hands. Look at the way you have been calling your brother on phone. Look at how you have been disturbing your neighbor, disturbing your friends. Look at how you try to disturb everybody. Try to make everybody to know your problem. Try to make everybody to know what you are passing through. The more you try to make them to come for your help, the more they run away from you. Your destiny is in your hands. Your destiny is in your hands. You say, oh, I come up from a poor family background. Nobody to help me in that family background. Let me tell you, when you begin to do something, when you are more focused on what you are doing, you will see destiny helpers. God will send destiny helpers to you. Let me tell you, nobody wants to assist anybody that goes nowhere. Nobody assists anybody that goes nowhere. Visions bring provision. So when you don't have vision, forget about provision. Oh God, provide this for me. Oh God, send this money for me. Oh God, send this food for me. Do you have vision? What is your vision in life? Your destiny is in your hands. Rise up. Rise up. Stop depending on people. Stop depending even on your mother. Don't depend even on your father. Stop depending on your brother or that person that is in outside country. Rise on your feet and take your destiny. Grab your destiny. It's in your hands. Oh, my brother, they London. My brother, they South Africa. My brother, they Abuja. My brother is in Asoro. Rise up and grab your destiny. Your destiny is in your hands. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on my Facebook page. Like this message and drop your own opinion. And share it to many people. May the peace of God and the God of peace be with you. See you next time. And bye for now.